Hello cruise fans, my name is Bram and you are watching my channel Bram Sees the Day. Welcome to episode 5 on board the NCL Epic. Today we leave this ship to visit the ancient city of Pompeii, one of our bucket list destinations. Now, this is a cruise vlog so I won't turn it into a history channel, I mainly want to share the experience of how an excursion works and what you can expect. Because getting 2000 people off a ship in under 30 minutes at 7.30am in the morning needs a smooth operation. Morning exercise. Going down nine flights of stairs to get the day going. Now, if it would have been nine flights of stairs up, we wouldn't do it. Being honest. be too much of a workout. Thank you. Any of the Capri tours, Capri Isle of Romans, or escorted day in Capri, please come and see me so I can send you to the stickering area. Zone 5. Follow the group that is exiting. In any case, we're all going to the same tour. We have several, several buses, so don't worry about that. Let's clear the theater in order. Pompeii excavations, zone five, seven forty meeting time. Guys, if you have a group, or if you're traveling with friends and family and you want to be in the same group, make sure you stick together. Make sure you tell my colleagues at the stickering area how many of you are there. <laughs> It works. <laughs> I think that's a siren. Yeah, that's a siren. We have a Good morning. For two, please, this way. Good morning. <laughs> Get on the bus. Morning. Good morning. I want to hear the sound of your smiling. Good morning! Good morning! How I like you. My name is Guido. Say again? Guido. Perfect. You speak very great Italian and he comes from a generation of very great uh, drivers in this bay of Naples. I like the design of this one. like a remote. Which way out? <laughs> Are we done yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> oh, the shop, yes. Let's shop first. I need to get out. Where's the bar? I don't know. 
I hate it when you uh, you book a tour to Pompeii and they dump you in a uh, carving factory so you can buy stuff. Well, from what I've heard, it's actually cheaper to buy online. So the cat is actually a lot more interesting to us than anything inside. So we're just waiting outside for everybody to leave, to get back on the bus. So tours is sometimes just patience. And this is a fine example. Hi precious. How are you? Hello, you beautiful sweetie. What do I do with this? Ah, I understand. I was demanding that you could become a guide. <laughs> this poor guy. Yeah. Sorry. Just my name. Just go. Okay. Belgium. Ah, uh, Belgium. Have you got a passport? You know. After a short but entertaining bus ride, we made it to Pompeii. And while we're walking to the entrance, Guido is telling us we are required to show proof of vaccination before we are allowed entry. Although mainly in open air, Pompeii is considered a museum. Our bus is split up in two groups and we are assigned another guide for our group. Guido is great, but her English is considerably better, so this will definitely improve our experience. Easier on the ear and, yes, easier on the eyes, too. Sorry, Guido, but the eyes are focused on Pompeii, and I must say, we have been looking forward to this. And like I said earlier on, this vlog isn't about the history of Pompeii, but on our tour experience. But allow me to share two minutes of our time spent here to give you an impression.
Excellent tour. So we left uh, Pompeii. Definitely recommend this tour. One of the best tours so far. Really. And now we're heading back to the bus. And the bus will take us back to the ship. I did notice the drive in here. How long? Let's find out on the way back how long the drive is and then I'll see you back at the ship. A painless 25 minute drive returned us here, without stopping at carving shops or anything like that. Guido took his time to tell us what great things we can do on our own in Naples, things not to miss, great recommendations. I guess he didn't get the memo that cruise passengers are not allowed on their own in Italy. So thanks Guido for unknowingly torturing us on the way back. Our plan now is to get changed and head up for a drink at Spice H2O. And we have some exciting things planned for tonight, but I'll share that on the next episode. If you want to find out, please hit that subscribe button and don't miss a thing. You will boost my motivation at the same time. I'm trying to get to that magic number of 1000 subscribers. So if you haven't done so already, you can help me out. And leave me a comment, I always reply. Thanks for watching guys.